Hello, and welcome to your new HCPL Chromebook. We made this video to help you get started using this device. The first step is to make sure the Chromebook has enough power to turn on. To do this, turn your Chromebook on its side and look for an oval-shaped socket with a picture of an electric plug above it. This is called a USB-C port, and it's what you will plug the power adapter that comes with your Chromebook into to charge the laptop. There is one on both sides of the device, and you can use either one. Insert the three-pronged plug on one end of the power adapter into a power outlet and the USB-C end into the computer. A light will turn on to indicate that the computer is charging. Next, we need to turn on the computer. Next to the USB-C port on the left side is a button with a picture of a circle with a line running through it above it. This is the power button. Press it once to turn on the computer. On the screen, you will now see the Google Chrome logo appear, followed shortly by the startup screen. Next, we need to connect the computer to the internet. You should see an icon shaped like a slice of pizza in the bottom right corner. Use the trackpad to move the cursor over the icon and tap the trackpad once or touch the icon on the screen with your finger to click the icon. A menu will pop up with a list of various options. Click the icon in the top left corner to open a list of available wireless internet signals. If you checked out one of our MiFi wireless routers, turn it on and search for its wireless signal in the list. Choose your signal and you should be connected. Next, click the arrow in the middle of the screen. A window will pop up giving you the option to change the language used in the computer interface. Click the next arrow icon and read through the HCPL Terms of Services for the Chromebook if you have not already. When you're done, click Accept and Continue. Congratulations! You have now made it to the computer desktop. The first thing you will see on the screen is the Google Chrome web browser, with two websites opened up in separate tabs. The first is a welcome screen with information about your Chromebook, various video tutorials for using your Chromebook, like the one you're watching, and a link to the HCPL YouTube channel. The second is the Harris County Public Library homepage. To go to a website, move your cursor over the white oval on the top of the web browser and click once. This is where you will type the address of the website you want to go to. Press and hold down the backspace button on the keyboard to delete the current address, and then use the keyboard to type a new address. Common websites include google.com for making web searches, facebook.com for social media, and gmail.google.com for accessing or creating an email account. From here, you are ready to use your Chromebook. When you are done using it, either close the screen to put the computer to sleep or press the Exit Session button to go back to the startup screen. One thing to remember is that while you can download images and documents to the hard drive of your Chromebook, all files on the computer are deleted every time you exit a session and go back to the startup screen or when you turn off the computer. If you have a file you want to save for a later date, consider purchasing an external thumb drive that you can store your files on. 